What's up guys, uh, Kevin here with Kosher Surplus. I just wanted to take a few minutes and talk about uh, the new katana from Nocturne Industries. Um, we've got these on our website ready to ship. It's a pretty cool binocular night vision system, new to the market. It's a uh, 3D printed nylon material, which I initially was unsure of when I heard about these coming out, but when I actually got it in my hands, man, it feels great. Uh, I actually like them a lot. I've been using them the last few nights, just doing a little uh, t &E and I'm super happy with them. Um, just to kind of talk about it a little bit, uh, like I said, it's a 3D printed uh, binocular housing uh, made out of a, a material called Nylon 12. Nocturne says that they do a proprietary post-process, <clears throat> a proprietary post-process due to the, after the 3D printing to ensure the air tightness of the goggle. Uh, the fit and finish of it is is really nice. Um, it feels on par with you know any of the other binocular night vision systems on the market. This is my personal DTMVG. Uh, this this system doesn't feel cheap or flimsy in any way. In comparison, I would say it's on par apples to apples with something like this. Uh, there's a few features that you get with the katana that you don't get with other goggles that I like a lot. They have a uh, built-in Lima port. It's actually optional. So if you've got a PVS31, AB night vision, etc. battery pack laying around, you can run these. Uh, out of the box, they they operate with a onboard CR123. Not unlike a lot of goggles on the market, but uh, the CR123 I think is superior to the uh, AA. So that's good. Nocturne calls this device the UANVB or ultralight articulating night vision binocular and I can say in comparison to again my personal DTMEG it is pretty light you know just in the hands I noticed a big difference when I actually mounted it on my helmet it's um, it was quite pleasant actually to use on the helmet in comparison to my DTMEG the katana accepts PVS 14 style optics so if you've been around night vision for a while, you'll be fairly familiar with the uh, PVS-14 style diopter and the PVS-14 style objective. This is very nice for maintenance, serviceability, interchangeability with aftermarket parts. Uh, as, it, as far as you know, your um, sacrificial lenses or camera adapters, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's my preferred um, style optic for a night vision device just for that that reason. Uh, it has a built-in IPD system which is very cool. Um, it took me a while to actually figure out how this worked when I was playing with it but once I figured it out it's it's pretty sweet. Pretty cool there's like a cam system that interfaces with a standoff on the back of the bridge and once you set these up for your desired IPD distance then every time you bring them down they will stop in that position unless you apply an extra 30 to 40 percent of force to overcome the extra uh, friction lock of that cam system it's super cool it's I like that they include it just right out of the box um, something that you won't get with other devices uh, with the exception of maybe a 31 but I think that system's a little bit clunky in comparison to this this is a lot of it's a lot more intuitive. These come in a, a several different colors from the factory. Um, they have a matte black, they have the naked black, which would be just the um, actual nylon as it's finished, as it comes out of the printer and they do their post-processing. They have a matte OD, which is what I'm holding here, and they have a matte coyote. All the colors look really good. Again, the fit and finish is nice in the hand. It feels quality. Uh, it's got a good texture to it for uh, purchase if you have wet hands. Um, and again, it's top tier in my opinion. I think um, one of the ways they achieve such a light weight is the simplicity of the on-off um, switch and function. The the battery cap is actually the the power switch as well and it's, it feels very similar to like a Surefire G2 series light which is cool because these are super high quality and durable and I wouldn't be surprised if it's the same K2 
cat, they probably come from the same place. The Katana does not have an onboard illuminator. I don't think this is a problem as most people that are using these are going to have some other source of illumination, be it a, an IR laser or an IR uh, LED light. The IR illuminator is really kind of unnecessary these days, but you know some guys prefer them for working in you know tight quarters inside houses and stuff like that. It's nice to have an IR illuminator, but at the same time. Uh, to keep that weight out of the goggle, it's it's I don't miss it at all. Um, the pods do power on and off individually when you flip them up and you rotate them up. Each pod will turn off individually, and that's useful in you know, hunting situations when you might flip one pod up to get behind a rifle mount, uh, rifle mounted thermal. They have a waterproof rating of IP68, the, the ingress rating, so that's good. Um, these can get wet, you don't have to worry about any kind of internal damage to the goggle system. Uh, they come from the factory fitted with a dovetail, it feels very quality. Um, it's, it's actually, the dovetail is actually dovetail notched into the bridge. So even if for some reason this mounting shoe were to break, or the, the bolt that holds it in, the dovetail wouldn't just come flying off and the goggles wouldn't go, you know, missing. There's two lanyard loops at the back on the bridge, which is, is nice as well. The Katana has a lifetime, no questions asked, warranty on the housing. I don't think you would ever need it, but that is uh, nice and uh, nice to have. It's reassuring when you spend you know as much money as you're going to spend on a binocular night vision system. But to speak to price, I think these are priced extremely competitively. Um, we have these available with several different tube options. Uh, filmless white phosphor tubes, uh, L3 tubes, we have M22 Elbit tubes, and we have what I, what's actually inside this device, uh, Photonis Echo, uh, available as well, all ready to ship, posted on our website. This is the first unit that I've spent any time using that had Photonis Echo tubes in it, and I'm honestly very impressed. I didn't think they were going to be as good as they are. Um, there are obviously pros and cons to the Photonis. It, it, the price point is better. The extreme low light performance is not as good as something like an L3 unfilmed um, wet phosphor tube. But in 90% of situations that I've used these in, they're totally serviceable. The image is very high quality. And for the price, you really can't beat them. Katanas, these are sick. If you're in the market for night vision, IR lasers, mounts, ammo, any of that cool stuff to go do cool stuff at night with your friends, get with us, send us an email, direct message, give us a call, we'll get you taken care of, kosher surplus.